Good morning, everyone. Eagle X from ATX. Eagle X Gaming here today, and I have our first BTA deck profile. This is Armor Rush. This was a deck that I knew was going to be a very relevant deck in the BTA format, and I figured, why not give it a go? And this was actually my first deck I built in BTA, and I've been having a lot of fun with the Vimon deck. So let's go ahead and get started talking about this deck, though. What is Armor Rush? If you guys aren't aware, Armor Rush is a champion rush style deck that uses the new Armor Purge mechanic with the Vmon line. And the toolbox of the different armors gives the deck a way to answer various situations and create combos. So aside from seeing rookies in opening hands, some really strong cards to see include a Davis Ken Tamer, because this will give you a lot of value as you go throughout the game. The additional effect to restand Digimon going into a dual color card is super strong as well, especially if Armor Purge had to be procced from the previous attack with a jamming Vmon underneath is like the ideal thing. And then Fire Rocket is another great card to see if you have a rookie armor Fire Rocket because it'll give you extra checks. And then you can get extra restands through cards like Armor Texture and Magnemon as well as additionally Davis Kent also works in the same fashion. And seeing Davis early game is also nice. He's a memory fixer. He's a potential plus two because Light Dramon or uh, Ray Dramon, I believe is the other name for it, is a green and blue Digimon. So you're very likely to get at least one target when you use him. But anyways, uh, some aggressive combos to be aware of. If you guys don't know, Fire Rocket is a one cost option. It gives all your two color or armored cards in this deck an extra check. And you ignore the color requirement if there's armor and traits, which, surprise, surprise, all the level fours will have armor in their traits. So when you're attacking with like a Vmon that became a Flame Dramon, and you cast Fire Rocket on him, that Digimon will have a plus one check. And one of the things to be mindful of is if you get a way to restand him, like through armor texture, through Magnamon, or through a Davis Ken proc after you armor perch, that Fire Rocket buff will carry over. Similar with the Magnamon DP buff, for every armor in your trash, you get 2,000 DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. So if you do go down to the Vmon, the Vmon will carry the buff. So if you attack with Flame Dramon, he gets 3k for the turn when attacking. The Vmon will carry it over if he has to purge down. Uh, other things to be aware of. Uh, like I said, Flame Dramon, Magnamon buffs carry over DP after armor purge triggers. Uh, Fire Rocket is another buff that carries over, and then Davis Ken procs at the start of the main phase, which is a big thing. If you have a Lydramon, Raydramon in the raising, and you promote the start of turn, the main phase triggers at the end of the egg phase. So after hatching, after raising is when you'll proc it. So if you have a blue Digimon hiding in raising, or a Lydramon hiding in raising, after you promote them is when you would get the memory so it's a really easy way to give you four memory if you have a Davis Ken out. When you have a Davis Ken out, that's like a fire rocket. Swing with the armor. If it purges, it purges. And then going into a Magnamon or going into another uh, armor. But anyways, I've talked about combos and talked about cards. Let's just look at the deck profile overall. So obviously your rookie lineup are going to be all V-Mons. I like jamming Vmon, the searching Vmons, and the Star Deck 8 Vmon. Star Deck 8 Vmon is definitely the best Vmon for this deck as you're using cards, you're dropping tamers, you're using options, and you're losing cards in your hand, kind of. And that helps you keep it replenished. Not to mention his win attacking is not a once per turn. So for every attack with him, you'll continuously get draws. Additionally, we do run some DNA Digivolving or Jagras. For our top end, in the form of Chimeramon and Pyildramon, Pyildramon is more situational as you rely on Lydramon to get the Jagras, but Chimeramon is generic with any two level fours. So if you have a hybrid, so if you go Tamer hybrid and you have another level four on board, that is a Jagras into Chimeramon where you can do a DP reduction on four Digimon, technically get another attack. And one thing you guys might notice is my selection of options. I tried to create the biggest security bombs as possible, and I think Giga Death is better in some scenarios than Mega Death. In this deck, when you're running low on cards in hand, a way to get that one last check you might be short is to do a massive board clear 
and Giga Death can help do that as you would suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then bot deck up to 10 suspended Digimon from the main effect. So if you went against a Mastay player or an Imperial player that overextended lift, left their board suspended, it will be a way to come back. And honestly, it's great for one game, but when your opponent learns you have it in the deck, it's going to be more playable around. But there are other variants of this deck as well. I built a pure aggro version, but there are builds that use armor recovery using the Shacklemon engine. There's other builds that run the Imperial top end, but they emphasize the armor, so it's more of like a 1-2 of Imperial at the top end. And then other cards consider include the old EX or XV mod to get the extra restand. Cat's being a little nosy here. Anyways, so uh, now overall for the deck overview, uh, I wanted to do something to kind of make the deck profiles stand out a bit more. So overall, this is an aggro deck, and the top end is not really skill reliant as much as it is high rolling, kind of like Jasmon was. So for difficulty, it's definitely not the most difficult deck to pilot. And for its matchup spread, it definitely does well into X Antibody as it is a combo deck. And traditionally, aggro will beat a combo deck. Control typically beats an aggro deck. And forms of control we have definitely include the yellow armor or yellow hybrid control. Black War Gray is a very board oriented effect or board oriented deck that relies on controlling the board, attacking Digimon. Things that are stood, you can attack still. You can de digivolve in the deck, which counters armor. Additionally, I think Imperial and Mastamon are kind of coin flip matchups, to be honest. For Imperial, it depends on who gets rolling first and gets their stack going faster. For Mastamon, it's can you knock them out before they get a chance to get Jogras going and before they can really start setting up board? Because you do have lots of aggression in the deck. Also, Massey does run DP Reduction, which is another big counter to Armor Perch, because the DP Reduction will carry over. Uh, bouncing effects are another really big thing that Imperial has. So, like, it just kind of depends on, do you get the roll before they get the answer to counter your deck, per se? Well, guys, so that being said, if you enjoyed this content, I appreciate it if you can like, comment, subscribe. With that being said, take care, y'all, and have a nice day.